Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. Currently, when you are signing into your Microsoft account, as you may well know, Microsoft still asks if you want to stay signed into your account after a period of inactivity. But according to a recent support document, Microsoft is going to be changing this in February. With Microsoft saying from the document, and I'm quoting, the web browser sign-in experience is changing when you sign into any product or service using your Microsoft account. Starting in February 2025, you will stay signed in automatically unless you sign out or use private browsing. If you sign in on your own computer, your browser will remember your sign-in information. But if you sign in on a computer, phone or tablet that doesn't belong to you or is accessed by other people, as an example, a public computer, Microsoft recommends that you should use a private browsing window instead. So quite a bit of important information here they are giving us and quite a few things are changing. So basically what you need to do is avoid staying signed in on a public computer at the end of the day to try and get around this um, latest development. Because obviously um, if you stay signed in on a public computer it can have, can have serious consequences um, in regards to your Microsoft account being accessed um, by somebody else. So it's necessary to sign out because the next user may have access to the Microsoft account and your different Microsoft products and, service and services. But another way you can get around this is to use a browser's private browsing mode, as mentioned, which you might not always remember to do on a shared or public computer. But if you do sign in, using your browser's private browsing mode. Sign-ins and other activity um, are only kept for the browsing session because once you close the browser, all your data, including your Microsoft account data, then is no longer available. But or that's, I think, is easier said than done, so to speak. Now, something else you can do is Microsoft also says there is a way to log off from all the devices at once. If you have any um, doubts that your account is opened on a system, you're not controlling as an example. So to do this, what you would do is you would have to log into your Microsoft account, security dashboard, and then you would have to navigate to sign out everywhere. And yeah, we can see as shown in the image, you click on sign out everywhere and that will sign you out of all your Microsoft products and services if you are concerned that you, um, your, your signing credentials are still available, as an example, on a public computer. And something else just to take note of is that um, Microsoft notes that signing out everywhere could take up to 24 hours. So obviously it's a good plan B, but it could give um, someone access to your Microsoft account and your data within a 24 hour window. And uh, obviously this change impacts, as mentioned, mostly uh, Microsoft um, users who sign in to um, accounts on public or shared devices. But um, this is quite a significant change. So just giving you a quick heads up and putting it out there. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.